Recently, we had some people um, from the media come to visit us. Mm -hmm. And they personally found many of the things that you talked about very interesting. Mm. They were quite engaged. Mm. And they commented also that you were quite a logical person. Mm. Even sometimes their families listen to what I have to say. <laughs> However, after they left, they, they claimed that you were in La La Land or mm -hmm. that we were in La La Land. Yeah. Why do you feel that that happened? Why do you feel that this is the case? Well, I, I can't see how the media can claim anything else at this point in time because it, to claim that I'm actually sane and logical, which is what most of them believe I am when they speak, speak with me at least, they would then go against almost everything they personally have learned about Jesus, everything that they personally believe and everything they know the public has learned about Jesus and believes. Now, for a person of the media to do that, they're going to need to have a lot of courage. And the majority of people in the media, I've found, don't have a huge amount of courage at all. They are feeding the public with what they know the public wants to hear. And in fact, the majority of the media who've had contact with us have not only fed the public with what they want to hear, but have cre created a fiction about us in order to feed the public what they want to hear. In other words, most of what the media claims about us is completely false, actually, as you know. So I find it very interesting that they have to go down this particular route. And I feel the main reason why they go down this route is because they are generally afraid of the public. And ironically, the very public that they say they serve, they are afraid of. It's interesting when we look at what happens with the media. If the media attack us, then the public support the media. If the media agrees with us or treats us kindly, then the public attack the media, which is very interesting. And so therefore, the media have a problem when it comes to our life. And the problem is, if they portray me as a sane, logical person who's claiming that he's Jesus, but not saying that he's God, and saying he's just the same as any other man, and who presents a lot of logical facts about the universe that can be verified through a person's own practice, then people in the public will condemn the media because people in the public have a lot of religious beliefs. In fact, there's 1.5 billion people on the planet who believe I am God, or Jesus is God, not I am God, mm. and uh, so therefore have a false belief about Jesus. And there's uh, the others, or uh, many of them believe Jesus never existed, which is also a false belief. And many of them believe that uh, Jesus is anti their own religion, which is also a false belief. <laughs> and if you add all the sum total of all of these false beliefs up on the planet, there's not a single person on the planet who wants to believe that an average person like myself, Alan John Miller, can be Jesus. And that's what I generally find. There's not a single person on the planet who actually believes I am Jesus. As a result. So how does that relate to the media? Well, the media have investments in portraying us as people that we are not. They have investments that are driven by their own fears, their fear of, of the public itself and the fear of how their own jobs, their own, you know, what, what their producers will do, what their organisations will do if the members of the media portray us as we actually are. And I see this happening all the time. When there is not a story that's good enough for what they believe it needs to be, they go and create one fictitiously in order to present so-called information to the public, which is not facts at all, but rather just a heap of lies. And why do they do that? Because they want to feed the public with what the public wants to hear. That's the only way in today's media-based society that you gain ratings, is by feeding the public with what the public want to hear. Now, unfortunately, what the public wants to hear at this point in time is a lot of dark... It was based on a lot of dark emotions that the public has within them. So the average person on this planet has a lot of very dark emotions, anger, anger sadness, grief. The sadness and grief isn't as dark as the anger. The anger is often terrifying. 
you can see their anger often reverts to violence. Average people reverting to violence because of the rage that they are actually in on all sorts of subjects. And of course, this is very terrifying for the average person on the planet. And so the average person on the planet conforms to the other average people on the planet. So they're not attacked by mm. the average person. Now, because I don't conform to what the average person on the planet either believes or accepts as truth, I am going to be the subject of ridicule and attack. It was exactly the same for me in the first century. I was the subject of ridicule and attack by the same kind of people who I am currently ridiculed and attacked by. People in the media are like the people who held public opinion in the first century. The only difference is the media now is a mass media. Right? In the first century, the only form of mass media was the written word, and that was only available generally to people who were very wealthy. In this life, mass media is available to everybody, pretty much everybody, is a, it can access the media. And for that reason, it becomes a powerful tool to feed the public what they want to hear. Now, I'm not interested in feeding the public what they want to hear. I'm only interested in feeding the public what is the truth, what I know to be the truth. That's my only criteria for what I speak of. Now, now, or if I'm asked my personal opinion, I will tell them the truth of my personal opinion. Either one I'm happy to disclose. Now, the average person on the planet doesn't want to hear those things. They neither want to hear my own opinion, nor do they want to hear the truth of what is God's opinion about the universe itself and their own life and their own belief systems and so forth. And for that reason, they project at the media that the media must give them what they want, otherwise they will leave support of the media. And for that reason, the media gives the public generally what they want. So even though the people who come to visit me generally believe that I'm a very sane person who's very logical, and they can't often refute any of the things that I argue about or talk to, to them about, they wish to believe that I'm in La La Land. And there is a primary reason why they wish to believe it, because the alternative is unpalatable. The alternative is that I'm not in La La Land. The alternative is that I am Jesus. And they don't want to accept that. Nobody wants to come out and say that. Otherwise, they'd all be labelled as idiots and crazy. Right? Nobody wants to do that. So nobody wants to accept the alternative, and that is that I am the person I'm claiming to be. Isn't that is the main reason why they're re ready to ridicule me, call me deceitful, lie about me, and so forth. <clears throat> Just to clarify a few points there, mm -hmm. you're saying that um, basically, unless the media attacks us, the media themselves will get attacked. Will get attacked. Um, second to that, you're sort of saying that the media is engaged in the business of gi of giving people what they want, actually. Yeah. To avoid attack, but also to maintain their financial position in terms well, of advertising. And let's look at what the public really wants. What the public really wants is for their fear to be confirmed. Mm -hmm. That's what the public really wants. The public is addicted to having the fear, their own fear, confirmed. So if their fear is about cults, they want their fear confirmed. Right? They don't care that all I do is go around and do seminars, that I have no cult in my backyard, that I have no people living with me. They don't care about any of those things. They want their fear confirmed. So they want to be told that I'm running a cult, that I have a compound, that none of the things are true. They want to be told these things because then their fear gets confirmed. Right? If all you want is your fear confirmed, then you're going to get a whole, told a whole lot of lies just to have your fear confirmed. And I'm not in the business of doing that, but the media are. Many of the media are. Not all of the media. But we've had interactions with different members of the media that are not like that, but they're not very popular. This is what, yes. Okay, so that's what I also wanted to bring up with you. Um, recently we've had some other media where people were not... Uh, where the media themselves was not attacking. Were not attacking and they didn't tell lies about us, no. for example. They, um, they still asked many what I felt, felt were ludicrous questions. <laughs> In other words, not logical questions if they really truly thought about them. 
but uh, they weren't attacking and they weren't belittling when they had their personal engagement with us. Mm -hmm. And I feel that that's probably a fairer way of dealing with the media. However, many of their listeners were not happy with that. They believed they, they should treat us with a lot of disrespect as a result. And that's because the average person on the planet does treat other people with disrespect and particularly treats other people with disrespect who have different beliefs than they do. Mm. And that's how the average person on the planet operates. And until that changes, I can't see any of the attitudes towards ourselves changing. Does that make sense? Like, well, you're saying that the media is a reflection of the Yes, the you public. can't blame the media for what it does because all it's really doing is feeding the public what they want. And, the only, and it's the same with politicians. You can't blame the politicians for what they do. They're just feeding the public with what they want. You can't blame the religious leaders for what they do. They're just feeding the public with what they want. I'm not in the business of feeding public what they want. That's why I'm generally criticised. I'm not in a business at all, in fact. All I want to do is tell the truth of what I know to be true. That is very unusual on this planet. Most people don't do that. Most people instead tell people what they want to hear. Right? If you wish to only hear what you want to hear, my suggestion is go and find somebody who will do that for you. They're not your friend. They're not even, they don't even love you. They're just manipulating you. That's all they're doing. Because a person who truly loves you will tell you what they know to be true, whether you want to hear it or not. That's what a person who loves you will do. If you're willing to hear it, they will tell you. If you're not willing to hear it, of course, they won't. But they will wish to tell you what is true. And my feelings are, is the public itself, the general person on this planet, has a deep desire to avoid truth. They have a deep desire to avoid personal truth. They have a deep desire to avoid universal truth because it confronts their personal truth. As a result, the average person on this planet does not want to hear the truth. They like hearing the lies. Ironically, though, when somebody tells lies about them, now they're all up in arms. Now they're all upset, right? So they want to have other people hear the truth about them, but they want to hear lies about everything else. And it's very hypocritical, actually. Until that general problem is resolved on the planet, truth will be very difficult to tell on the planet and will also be very difficult to discover because we'll be limited by the lies constantly. We'll be limited by the desire to not hear truth rather than the desire to hear truth. So I feel it's a big problem and uh, we can talk more in another question about why it's such a large problem. But that, that to me is the biggest issue. In order to summarise this question, I feel it's this. It's preferable for most people on the planet to believe I'm delusional, insane, crazy, deceitful, a liar, than it is for them to accept that I am the person I'm claiming to be. And I understand that. I understand all the reasons why they're in that place where they want to believe that I'm not Jesus for all of their own reasons. But just because everyone on this planet doesn't believe I'm Jesus, it doesn't mean that I'm not. In the first century, when I began doing what I was doing, nobody believed I was the Messiah. But now there's literally billions of people in the spirit world who know I am. And that happened over time because of what I taught. Right? So, so it's the same now. I, I just feel it's exactly the same now. We have huge investments. The average person has huge investments in not believing anything other than bad about me because of my claim that I'm Jesus. And they have huge emotional investments in doing so. And until they're willing to confront such emotional investments, they're not going to listen to a word I say, even though it is very logical, and even though it makes a lot of sense, and even though they've never heard it before, they will not listen to it until they break through these barriers of belief that occur as a result of their own indoctrination. So my suggestion to people is break through those barriers as soon as you're able because without breaking through those barriers, 
you're not going to resolve any issue of truth. And, uh, and I hope that at some point you do it while you're on earth. But if you don't do it while you're on earth, you'll be able to do it in the spirit world because all of those people that I said could come to you and confirm my identity, they'll be able to come to you if you ask them to and confirm who I am. They, they won't have any trouble doing so. And it will only get down to what you believe in the end, the sincerity that you feel in those individuals as to whether you're going to believe them or not. Just as it really gets down to whether you believe I'm sincere or not as to whether you're going to believe me about my identity.